My name is Melissa Del Valle Ortiz, and I'm with the National Conference of Puerto Rican Women, and I'm also a new member to the League of Women Voters. Thank you very much. Thank you, thank you. Um, we have a representative here from uh, Velmanette Montgomery's office, Jim Vogel. I'm, I'm sorry. All right, so we'll get it right. I'm sorry. <laughs> um, so the first thing I want to ask is, where Brooklyn at? Where Brooklyn? Hello, thank you. Welcome, Brooklyn. Thank you very much. Thank you for coming. Uh, and everybody else, too. Thank you so much for traveling outside of your boroughs and coming into Brooklyn. We appreciate it. Okay. So, um, there's an old Puerto Rican saying that goes, Dame mi flores en mi vida. And that means to give me my flowers in my lifetime. Right? So, recognize me for my strengths, my efforts, my contributions in my lifetime. And I feel really strongly that this beautiful, enormous woman did not get those flowers in her lifetime. As I hear everything that's going on, or the stories and the things that I've been told, and the people that I've met, as I've been inviting, because some of y'all remember me with curly hair at different events. <laughs> and I've been inviting y'all, and people are like, oh, I knew Shirley Tism, or I was a secretary, or I worked for her, or something that they were involved with and had all these wonderful, wonderful stories. And um, it was just amazing to hear that as I was going through and, and bringing Brooklyn to this event to recognize her. So I'm, I'm glad that everybody came out and, and showed support, and I appreciate that. Um, something else that happened, uh, a little girl on the train, uh, on the A train, I was on my way to Congressman Jeffrey's event, and she was on the train and talking, went on and on about um, the mama, Big Mama from Tyler Perry movie. And so I turned to, what's her name? Ma Medea. She had said all these wonderful things about this woman and had all these comments about her for about a good three train stops. I finally turned to her and I said, well, that's wonderful. Do you know who Shirley Chisholm is? Do you know that she did not know who Shirley Chisholm was? And her mother turns to her and says, well, you should know who she is. You go to her daycare center. <laughs> Are you kidding me? She went to her daycare center growing up. The little girl was nine years old. And so I told her, I said, well, I'll tell you what. I said, it's OK that you don't know, but what's important is you're going to go home and you're going to find out. Right? You're going to go online. You're going to Google her. And you're going to be able to tell everybody about who Shirley Chisholm was. So that we're actually hearing you know, these, these stories about her it's a beautiful thing, but you can Google her and, and find a lot of information too. I also wanted to say that unfortunately, we don't have the technology to um, post a video that we had of a thank you from Congresswoman Lee, Barbara Lee out of California. Um, but it will be on the website for the League of Women Voters. So now you have an excuse to go there besides you know, becoming a member. Okay, I, I, I know Brooklyn got that, but no offense. And also, there's also another wonderful video that was aired at the Brooklyn Borough Hall event for Shirley Chisholm uh, that was done by the United States Post Office. Also, you can Google that and find it on YouTube. You can do it on your phone while you're here and look at it. It's a beautiful Google United States Post Office, Shirley Chisholm, YouTube, you will find it. Um, and I also in implore you, please, to get involved with local governments. You don't have to campaign for a, a rep or anything like that, but if you think that there's something in your community that's important and speaks to you and you need to have your community come out and come to events, you know, you can invite the league. We will come. We will host tables and events. We're going to be at uh, Brooklyn College on May the 7th at the Youth Forum for Community Board uh, 14, um, asking them to get involved. And also, you know, if you want us to come to your child's high school and speak there and register the graduating class as full registered voters, we can do that too. So whatever you can conceive, very likely the League of Women Voters can make that happen for you. Um, I'm going to pass the mic to Mary Jenkins. Thank you, everybody. Thank you.